Our top story with the U.S. having killed the man who was the reason for going to war in Afghanistan nearly 10 years ago. Many are now questioning what that means for the military operation there. The tremendous cost of the campaign, both in human lives and U.S. dollars, suggests the temptation is big for Washington to declare mission accomplished and leave the country. But as RT's Marina Portnaya reports, bin Laden's death is unlikely to improve life in the war-torn country. Nine and a half years on, the war in Afghanistan has grown visibly worse, while U.S. rhetoric surrounding it has consistently spun in circles. We are making progress. That is what has enabled us to make the progress that we have made. I think it's possible that by the end of this year, we will have turned a corner. Since 2003, Washington has repeatedly proclaimed turning points for a conflict that critics call a failing quagmire. The reality is that things are stalemated, that things are worse than they were at this time last year. Every year as we send more troops to the conflict, every year as we spend more money on the conflict, the insurgency grows in size. Karzai's government gets weaker and the violence gets worse. Nearly 1,500 U.S. soldiers and 10,000 Afghan civilians have been killed in a war costing America $2 billion per week. Meanwhile, after assassinating the man it's been hunting since 2001... But the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. A disconnect between what the U.S. says and what the world sees may have deepened. A defining moment uh, in the war against al-Qaeda, the war on terrorism, uh, by decapitating the head of the snake. Effectively, you have this aging, sickly old man who really hasn't done anything of real political significance for a long time, and the great kind of uh, triumph against evil that the Western leaders are really kind of starting to trumpet at the moment. Uh, Obama uh, and uh, Bush before him turned uh, Osama bin Laden into this kind of symbol of evil following the 9-11 attacks. He is actually more a creation of the West than he is, you know, a real political or kind of um, uh, terrorist threat in himself. U.S. officials branded bin Laden's killing as a success and strategic blow to al-Qaeda. It is going to have, I think, very uh, important reverberations throughout the area on the al-Qaeda network uh, in that area. And I think you're going to see them start uh, eating themselves from within more and more. This, as some see the U.S. turning and spinning fiction into fact. In Afghanistan uh, itself, it's not going to have that much of a role. Uh, we're fighting Taliban, we're fighting Afghan Taliban in Afghanistan, we're not fighting al-Qaeda. You have a new generation of young radicals who've grown up watching these wars over the past 10 years that are far more radical than their predecessors. Osama bin Laden claimed responsibility for the 9-11 attacks that killed nearly 3,000 people and devastated New York City. Nearly 10 years later, his death is being reported as a victory for the U.S., while the war that America waged to get him still struggles to find a conclusion. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.